I'm Dr. Nathan Treff from Reproductive Medicine Associates of New Jersey. We treat patients for infertility and we perform in vitro fertilization. I'm currently directing molecular biology research to develop new diagnostics and therapeutics for IVF. Infertility affects approximately one in six couples. We want to develop new molecular diagnostics to better select embryos so that we can reduce multiples and improve pregnancy rates. We've used some uh, specific products from applied biosystems like TACMAN SNP genotyping assays, which allow us to genotype specific candidate genes that may have a role in infertility. Another important uh, technology which we've been using is uh, cells to CT uh, product. Uh, we're using cells to CT for a few projects. Uh, the one that I think is most interesting is to potentially characterize whether or not single cells in the day three embryo have begun to differentiate towards specific lineages of development. And this has an impact both in terms of you know, pre-implantation genetic diagnosis, but also to potentially isolate and develop embryonic stem cell lines without harming the embryo. The cells to CT kit uh, really has a lot of advantages over other techniques for evaluating gene expression. The kit is much easier to use than other available methods for analyzing gene expression in small amounts of material. Essentially all it is is, is pipetting and incubation at room temperature. It's very important when you're working with a single cell uh, to acquire as much of the RNA from that cell as possible for any downstream gene expression analyses. So the cells to CT protocol allows you to avoid losing RNA because you're processing the cell directly without purification, without spinning. Uh, you can process uh, a large number of samples in parallel, which is also beneficial. We've done some research in the past with, with other techniques for evaluating single cell gene expression, and, and those protocols typically take five to seven days. So we've gone from having to, to perform the method in, in about seven days uh, to as little as uh, less than a day. That also could be highly relevant to new diagnostics that utilize this technology because we have a short time frame in which we need to be able to obtain an answer to then make a decision about what embryos to transfer. Another advantage of using the cells to CT kit is that it incorporates the use of TACMAN chemistry, which is really the gold standard in gene expression analysis. We do see uniform amplification and really low levels of bias so that we can trust the results that we obtain from a single cell. If we can develop better diagnostics okay. to uh, improve pregnancy rates and reduce miscarriage rates, that's going to have a huge impact for patients that are undergoing treatment of infertility.